That one small example really shows why layers are so powerful. It's about building complexity on top of simplicity. It is. And this ability to solve XNOR hints at something much bigger, doesn't it? The universal approximation theorem, what does that theorem tell us? It's the theoretical bedrock of why deep learning is so powerful. It was proven by George Segenko, and it states that a neural network with just one hidden layer, as long as it has enough neurons, can approximate any bounded and continuous function. Any function. That is yeah. that is an incredible claim. So whether you're modeling flu dynamics or the stock market, in theory, a single hidden layer network can learn that pattern. In theory, yes. The big catch is given enough units. To solve a really complex problem, you might need an exponentially large number of neurons in that one layer which would be impossible to actually train. Ah, okay. But the theorem gives us you increase the capacity with more layers and more units. And while the theorem says one layer is enough, in theory, in practice, adding depth more layers is a much, much more efficient way to build up that capacity to model the complex, nonlinear world. This has been an incredibly detailed journey. We've really traced the path of calculus in AI. We started with simple derivatives, scaled up to the Jacobian matrix that measures all changes at once, and then saw how the vector chain rule uses matrix multiplication to send signals backward through the network. The engine of backpropagation. Exactly. And then we saw that it's the activation functions that give these linear systems their nonlinear power, turning them into universal approximators that can solve problems like XNOR.